A community can be incredibly important to a person for many reasons. It can provide a sense of belonging, support, and connection with others who share similar experiences, oftentimes similar cultures and backgrounds, right? A community can also provide access to resources, opportunities, and obviously social networks that can be beneficial for personal and or professional growth, right? Being a part of a community can help individuals feel less isolated and alone, and it can also provide a sense of security as well as safety. So these are the values that we all experience in one community and another, right? Whether you're a politician, whether you live in um, suburbia, whether you live in the urban city or metropolitan, whether you live in the, in the ghetto, we all have these experiences, right? The only difference is if I live in suburbia, I might have a different perspective on those who live in the, in the ghettos. Why? Because of the stories that are being told about the ghettos. And the opposite is also true. Those living in the ghettos have a different story that's being told about those who live in suburbia. So both parties are being sold a different narrative. Now we have a conflict, a misunderstanding, a disagreement, right? Now what that has done is shifted the value scale. So those in the in the ghettos believe that if I live in the suburbia, there's more value to me as a person living in such a community. And those in suburbia are looking at those in the ghetto and saying, ooh, if I live there, oh, my value is next to nothing because they have a lot of drugs, they have a lot of violence, they have a lot of this. Right? So now me from suburb suburbia looking down at those in the in the ghettos. I'm going to support any company or government that says, hey, let's tear it down and rebuild it so we can have a, another suburbia because that would be better for everybody. Here I am speaking for everyone else, not those who are currently living there. Right. That's basically gentrification. Right. Uproot those people because we don't see the value in them and their community and what they bring to the, the larger society. So it's OK. We can justify that but not those living in suburbia, right? And this is where the disconnect comes in, okay? Um, it can also foster, I'm talking about communities here, right? Uh, foster a sense of empowerment, right? And agency uh, as individuals can come together, affect change and make a positive impact on their community. This happens in the ghetto and in suburbia, right? It just looks different when you're standing on the outside of either of those communities looking onto the other. Okay? But what we need to understand is that community holds the key to ending despair, poverty, violence within itself. It really does. If that group of people come together and say, you know what? We won't stand for that. The 0 0.0001 percentile that's committing these offenses can easily be rooted out of that community. But in order for that to happen, the greater percentile of those people need to be the ones to speak up and stand up against that and evoke that change, right? Research has shown that being a part of a strong and supportive community can have numerous positive effects, not only on your mental health, but your physical health, right? It reduces stress levels and also improve your overall well-being. That's common sense, though. I would think. If I live in a place where I don't see violence, I'm able to walk my dog, leave my door open, and don't feel any form of threat could ever come to me, that is less stress. My overall well-being will be improved, right? I'm going to be a be much better person. I can concentrate mentally, physically, and everything else. Now flip the tables. And if you're living in a place that is crime infested, drug infested, and so forth, your mental and your physical health cannot be reduced. Your stress level cannot be reduced because you don't know if you're going to make it back home. 
when you leave your house. You don't know if you're if you go to work or you're gonna be, make it back home safely. You don't know when your next meal is coming from because your job is not stable, right? So all these things play a role. So you need to you need to be aware of that, and this is just research, right? That kind of points out all these um, facts. Um, because you know someone will help you in the time of need, you're going to return that gesture to someone else in need in order for all members to thrive and succeed in such communities that are healthy. Okay? So we need to be aware of that. Each one teach one. That's where that comes from. 